course I miss you, darling. This is the loneliest place on earth. Most exciting thing ever happens here is the day when it don't rain. Excuse me, darling, I got some work to do. What the heck is that? Get on in here, Pete. We got us a big old asteroid on a three-week collision course with Earth. has been named Attila, after the war leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with Earth is 99%. Five, four, ignition. up and away. This is not a mission the shuttle was designed for, but as Mission Commander Boston Lowe said in the press conference last night, If the shuttle is the last hope of the human race, then it'll have to do the job, won't it? Excuse me, Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce the landing team. Ludger Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow Attila to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission, she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. In going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright, I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance, and we've got to do it right. Let all your prayers be with us. Robin's here. 
Going independent. Welcome to the wonderful world of space. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Brink here, going independent. Howdy, Brink. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. It's the pig. Payload specialist Miles needs to use the remote arm to release it. Robbins, this is low. Robbins here. What is it? Getting anything juicy for your first article? I'm not writing my article right now, Commander Low. This is all pretty dull so far, Robbins. I hope you can find something interesting for your lead. Commander Low, am I doing something wrong? No, I'm just trying to be friendly. And I'm trying to be a good crew member. Can't you forget for even one second that I'm a reporter? Just want to make sure you're having a wonderful time, Robbins. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. Just want to make sure you're having a wonderful time, Robbins. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. Have you looked up at the Earth yet, Robbins? Oh, is that big blue thing the Earth? Some people get vertigo when they realize that they're hanging upside down 200 miles over the ocean. Do some of them throw up? Is that what you want me to do? I thought it was something you might want to write about. I actually had a pretty good career as a writer before I had you to think up ideas for me, Commander. Low out. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? Robbins here. I read you. What do you think of our archaeologist, Brink? I'm very impressed with his experience. He headed the U.S. Geological Survey team that mapped the surface of Venus. He'll be taking a close look at the asteroid to make certain the detonation points they've chosen are suitable. See that big tool chest? We call it the pig. I've logged a hundred hours working with every tool in the pig, Commander Low. Low out. Brink, this is Low. Do you read? Brink here. Are you getting a good look at the asteroid, Brink? I have hardly looked at anything else, Commander. Have you noticed anything unusual? No one has ever been this close to an asteroid before, Commander. I cannot possibly know what is usual or unusual. Is there anything that should make us reconsider the placement of the charges? The original choice of quadrant seems adequate, Commander. Happy to set foot on a new world, Brink? Attila is a very old world, Commander. It is merely new to us. Let me know if you see anything unusual with the asteroid. No problems yet, Commander. What do you think of our star reporter? Very unorthodox, bringing a reporter on a space mission. But she is very capable, and she writes interesting stories. Everything okay with the pig? Everything's fine as far as I can see, Commander. Miles can tell you more than I can. 
Slow out. It's the pig. Payload specialist Miles needs to use the remote arm to release it. something. A place no human has ever touched. And our job is to blast the hell out of it. Let's move. Low out. Compensating. You're saying Attila is less massive than we expected. Hey, maybe Attila's nothing but a big old bubble. How do we know what's inside an asteroid? Let me know if you notice something that would change our mission parameters. Sure thing, boss. Right now, Attila's sleeping like a baby. You ready for us to park company, Ken? Everything's in position, boss. Low out. Miles, this is low. Do you read? Yeah, 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 Boston. I'm on you. You, you wish. wish. In, in your, your dreams. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> How's the congressional campaign going without you? 
Well, my opponent is demanding equal time and space. With or without a suit. Just don't screw up the mission, Boston, and I'll be in Congress next January. I just want you to know, you've got my vote, Cora. Till my opponent offers you more money. I just want you to know, you've got my vote, Cora. Only if you move to Mississippi, Boston. We're ready when you are, Cora. Just give the word, Boston, and you got yourself a pig. Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? Crew is clear. Proceed. and it's ready to monitor the explosions. Low out. Borden? Come in, Borden. I'm here, boss. Let me know if you notice something that would change our mission parameters. Sure thing, boss. Right now, Attila's sleeping like a baby. Give us the go-ahead on the explosives, Ken. Plant Alpha Charge in Quadrant 2. Make sure you get it on a level surface so Attila blows in the right direction. Low out.
You can't dig with shovels here in low gravity. There's no easy way to get leverage. Besides, we've got the exact tool designed for this job. Let's see if we can clear up old Attila's complexion. Nice and smooth now. Shuttle, this is low. Replacing the explosive in quadrant two. Acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this brink? I'll be right there, Commander Low. Excellent work, Brink. Ken, the charge is set. Instruments confirm. Hey, I'm just so proud of you boys. Load aboard and do you copy? I read you, Low. What is it? Give us the go ahead on the explosives, Ken. Plant beta charge in quadrant three. Make sure you get it on a level surface so Attila blows in the right direction. Low out. Guess what, boys and girls? Using the zero-g digger on this boulder is gonna work just as well as trying to move a sand dune with a teaspoon. We better think of something else. Better find out what Mission Control suggests. Mission Control? I'm not calling Houston until I'm sure there's nothing we can do. Just think for a minute. Ken, I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. Does that sound workable? Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles in zero-g under maximum thrust conditions. In other words, who knows, it might work. Boss, be careful. If the handle breaks, maximum down thrust will smash you right into Attila. You know the saying, whether the stone hits the glass or the glass hits the stone. It ain't gonna hurt the stone. Thanks for the encouragement, Ken. Frank, if this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. Looks like it worked. Now, aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is, if you can pick it up, take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. I have the same rule, Cora, but I thought it only applied to women in bars. If you can pick her up... <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't want to find yourself getting quoted as a sexist pig in Maggie's article. I'm not here to spy on you. Lighten up, Robbins. They're just teasing you. If they thought you were really a spy, they'd never talk freely on the open frequency. Shuttle, this is low. Now placing the explosive on the face of the asteroid in quadrant three. Hey, acknowledged. I need another hand here, Brink. Of course, Commander.
Motor board, do you copy? How do you think I passed my NASA exams? Give us the go-ahead on the explosives, Ken. Arm the firecrackers and let's go. Low out. It's explosive device beta. Let's head back to the shuttle, folks. Motor board, do you copy? This is Borden. Give us the go-ahead on the explosives, Ken. Arm the firecrackers and let's go. Low out. Look at the pretty red light, boys and girls. I'd say this charge is armed. This asteroid has a pair of landing lights now, kids. Stick a fork in us, we're done. Who writes your material, Commander? I get it all out of the newspapers, Robbins. Let's head back to the shuttle and watch Attila do the old fire dance. Inside for the fireworks. Confirm everybody inside. All in, Cora. All clear payload. All clear landing team. All clear shuttle. Confirm doors closed. Doors closed. Now than before we tamed him. 
Those were certainly profound first words to speak on Earth's new moon. I'm not making speeches, Roberts. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. Commander, I can collect rock samples later. Right now, I would like to get below the surface down into that tunnel. We're gonna do it eventually. We might as well do it now. You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I've called the pig. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. Remember, any rock may be loose, and any wall may collapse at any time. Please be careful, everyone. Cora, send down the pig, please. We'll need the light. It won't accomplish anything. Frank, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. Just thank Cora. 
You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. We're getting back to work down here, kid. Low out. I'm giving this baby a little push. If that doesn't work, Commander, give it a big push. The plate just dropped down inside something. The plate is gone? It's a small, dark opening. It's a small, dark opening. It won't do anything. It won't accomplish anything. It's a small, dark opening. Load aboard, do you copy? This is boarding. Anything from Houston? No, the tracking stations report that everything's fine so far. I can't wait till I get up there and tell you what this is all about. Oh, take your time, boss. I'm only going crazy up here, not knowing anything about what's going on. Low out. Low to payload, over. Miles here. Cora, did you ever pass notes in class? All the time, Boston. I feel like somebody's passed me a note, only I don't know how to read it. Cora, I gotta tell you, after this trip, sitting around in Congress is gonna be real boring. Sitting around up here in the shuttle ain't exactly a thrill right now either, Boston. How long will the pig hold out as a light source? Plenty of time. If it starts to run low, we can pull my baby up to the surface and let the solar batteries recharge. Low out. Robbins. Come in, Robbins. This is Robbins. Does all this mean anything to you? It means that military secrecy is probably going to stop the scientists of the world from studying one of the great secrets of our time. Thanks for your help, Robbins. Relax, Commander. I know it isn't your idea. Low out. Load a Brink. Come in, Brink. Brink here. I read you. If it's not a message, then what is it? It could be anything. Discarded garbage? A doorway? Maybe the message is simply not visible to our eyes. I don't know. I'm thinking of giving this sucker a big solid push. So far, your instincts have been good, Commander. Sorry, we don't have any better light source than the pig. My problem isn't lack of light. It's lack of experience with the interior of asteroids. Low out. It won't accomplish anything. Brink, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. It's a small, dark opening. The zero-g digger and shovel are designed to be used separately. It won't do anything. It won't accomplish anything. It's the pig. I can't go any further down this chasm.
It's comforting to know we can return home in safety. NASA simulators are easier. Motor break. Come in, break. Break here. I read you. If it's not a message, then what is it? It could be anything. Discarded garbage, a doorway. Maybe the message is simply not visible to our eyes. I don't know. Low out. Motor board, do you copy? This is boarded. I can't wait till I get up there and tell you what this is all about. Oh, take your time, boss. I'm only going crazy up here, not knowing anything about what's going on. The pigs seem to hold up pretty well in the nuclear explosions. Yep, every now and then, the lowest bidder does it right. Low out. It's a small, dark opening. It won't do anything. There's no way to get leverage with this thing. I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. another one. I wish we could be sure we weren't destroying whatever message they meant us to receive. It seems to me that if they didn't mean us to push these metal plates, we wouldn't be able to push them. It's a small dark opening. Another metal plate. I wish there were some sort of inscription. Here's number three. It disappeared too. Well, here goes nothing. We're with you, Commander. So, the asteroid is home. Time to update you. Low to shuttle. Static. Must be 
see all this rock. We're cut off. Should we go back outside and call them? Nah, they can sit tight for a few more minutes. 